Hello, Adam Hancock here with another Stocks Happening update from Singapore. Now it's a great time to have a look at the Asian markets. Of course, coronavirus started in Asia. A lot of countries have gone through very bad periods and are starting to come out the other side and reopen their economies. So we might be able to have a glimpse into what could happen for many other parts of the world in the future. Before I go into in-depth details on a couple of big economies here, let's just take a quick look at Hong Kong. Of course, lots of tension with China changing the rules last week, uh, protests over the weekend as well, and the market was savaged last Friday. Uh, it finished just uh, a little tick up, 0.1% um, in the end, uh, but nothing huge at the moment. Is it worth investing in Hong Kong at the moment? I would probably say no. Obviously, lots of protests have happened and probably will happen. That story is not going to go away. And I've heard that a lot of businesses might be reconsidering their position there as well. But what about China, where the coronavirus crisis began? And now they are pretty much reopened in many ways. People don't even have to wear masks all of the time. How crazy. Uh, well, this is the Shanghai Composite. You see how over the last six months, it's had two big crashes. It was mainly coronavirus, but obviously the trade war with America and issues with Hong Kong as well. But China could come out of this well. They've still got interest rates and they've had a head start on reopening compared to others. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail on Australia because uh, I did a separate video all about why I think you should be investing them in them right now. But the, uh, the Australian index did rise 2.6% uh, yesterday and it's continuing its upward trend in the last three months or so. As I said, it could be worth an investment, but make your own mind up. Now, what about Japan? There's been some positive news from Shinzo Abe uh, announcing the easing of state of emergency in Tokyo and a couple of other areas. And things seem to be getting better there as well. The markets have reacted well, uh, the Nikkei is up, but Japan is an intriguing one. The government at the moment, they're printing lots of money, they're buying lots of shares in ETF to try and get things going. But the economy is in a strange situation in Japan. Now, a lot of their growth happened in the 90s. They have a very elderly population. And one investor told me that he thinks that Japan might be a good place to quickly get in, make some money, and then get out before things go wrong. Very interesting indeed. Uh, since we've been recording this, there's been some breaking news from Singapore. Um, obviously, they are in a lockdown at the moment uh, after a high number of cases, uh, particularly in migrant workers in the city. Um, they have announced a third downgrading of their prediction for their economy. They now think it will be 4 to 7% down. That's down from 1 to 4%. So things not looking good in Singapore. Uh, one final little bit of vaccine news as well. Now, we all remember Moderna last week. Uh, that was a bit of a roller coaster. Monday it was high and then it kind of skipped around on the different announcements about testing. Uh, we've got a new, new, new boys in town now, Novavax, another US firm. They said it started your first humid trial of their COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, they expect results uh, in July. Uh, here's the stock price at the moment. You may have already missed the boat to get in on this one. I reckon it could raise pretty quickly when the markets open in the US. But remember Moderna, it was up and it was down. There's no certainties at the moment. And in the hunt for a vaccine, there really are no certainties.